So I wore my a very Merry Christmas. So Merry, Happy, whatever you celebrate, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Winter Solstice. Today we're gonna warm up and make our bodies our allies. So in ways that are relevant to stretching, creating some bone density through some good standing poses. But let's start as we do sitting tall and sitting at the edge of our seat. Plant your feet firmly and squarely. And once your feet are firm and square into the floor, have the hands on top of the thighs and give me a cat and cow position, rounding and arching your back. So can it be that you're sitting at the edge of the seat, hands onto the knees, and it's just a rounding and an arching. And it's a rounding and an arching. Begin to round and arch. Thrust the chin forward and up so that the underbite, like a little bit of a bulldog. Ugh. So your chin is gonna come up and towards the ceiling and you're rounding and arching and you're rounding and arching. Now from that rounding and arching, stretch the hands back, hold the back of the chair. You're still sitting at the edge of the chair, hold the chair, Bend, straighten your elbows. So bend and then straighten, inhale and exhale, bending. So it's this feel, stay as you are. I just wanna show you a little closer to the camera. So you're bending and straightening, undulating, like a wave, your chest is coming forward, 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 and then it's going back. It's coming forward. Now, when your chest goes back, lift your right leg up. So it's gonna be here. And then lift your left leg up. Here. Here. And here. We will go for this shape about 10 more times. Good, Aunt Kazma. Sitting at the edge of the seat, and then bring more your chest towards the front of the camera. Lift your, so this full chest, shoulders, so really chest. So watch everybody, can you, Aunt Kazma, can you walk your hands closer to the chair a little bit? So your arms, unless that hurts your shoulder. Does it hurt your shoulder? Now sit at the edge of the seat and bring yourself forward and back. Good, Anne. Excellent, Gwen. Wow, Joan. Wow, Aunt Sandy, that's it. Better, so much better, everybody, so much better. Good. Now keep, please, just your right arm on the back of the chair. Take your left elbow across the right knee and twist. It's gonna be that same little rounding and arching of the spine, but now we're adding a twist. So it's a twist and around, and a twist, and around, and a turning your torso. Last week we worked on deep twist, keeping the knees together. Can you remember and remind yourself of that? Come out, let's go to the second side. Right hand, outer left knee, left hand back behind you, Either turn to look towards the fireplace, if you're Aunt Kasma, towards the hallway, if you're Anne, over the window, the fireplace as well, if you're Gwen, back over the left shoulder, Joan, good. And then where's that rounding and arching? So pump and twist and pump and twist. Both hands again are holding the back of the chair. Bend and straighten the elbows. Look up. Now, be very careful here. For many of you, this might not work, but hold the chair, walk a little forward. Only if you're 
chair is stable and you have plastic stoppers, the chair is not going to skid. Or if your sticky mat is underneath your chair, watch. I want you to lean forward, take the the back legs of the chair. So I don't think your chair does your chair roll, Aunt Sandy? Okay, good. So let the arms stretch back, then chin into the chest, head from side to side. Woo! So you're pulling the left back legs of the chair a little bit off the floor and feeling what that does to the grip of the feet. So the feet are gripping and pushing back and forth. Now, keep your right hand, right arm back behind you. Take your left hand across the outer right knee, twist. Take your right leg up and dangle the right leg directly across the left. Wind the hands on top of the right knee and just roll the shoulders back, roll the shoulders forward. Good. Head from side to side. So this is moving into a pose called Eagle Pose, Garudasana. The right leg is on top. So let's take the left hand towards me and then wrap, please, your right arm underneath the left. Travel your left arm a little to the right and look to the left. Now, take your left hand forward options. Aaron is probably going to work here because of his shoulder impingement. Who can wrap the hands or put the knuckles together? So this is a big bind. And your knees are stacked. Good. That's it. Take your arms a little bit from side to side. And then come forward, direct the elbows, the chest towards the right. Bring your left elbow, left shoulder around the right thigh. Keep your left elbow, left arm around the right thigh. Set free the right hand. Put the right hand on the back of the chair. So the right hand is on the back of the chair. That's it, Gwen. Left elbow is across. Perfect yak. Come on, look over your right shoulder, Aunt Sandy. Left elbow, outer right knee. Right hand holds the back of the chair. Right hand back of chair, Aunt Sandy. Good, that's it. Now reach around. Let your left hand hold the pinky side of the right foot. Kick the right leg up, hold it up. Do you need to get your strap? Get your strap. Otherwise, you can hold the back of the ankle, knee, foot. Hold on tight there. Good. Seven breaths. Six. Good. Five. Now, right about now, Aaron and I start to pivot, lean back, and reach for either the leg of the chair or maybe you perch your fingers onto the floor. That's more advanced, and I encourage, encourage most of you to stay anywhere along this part of the sequence. If you wanting more, then you're taking your right foot towards the left side of the room and the right hand to the floor. And then come. Replace, please, your right ankle on top of the left knee there. So you're in that figure four. Grip onto the ankle with your left hand and the knee with the right hand. Now shrug. Just give me a little bit of side to side. So this is just a twist. Good. Nice. Excellent, Anne. Great job. Great job. Come forward more and then reach the hands towards the floor. Uh -huh. And drop your head. Drop your head. And stay in the shape, introducing such a wild sensation of tone, a little bit of fire log and burn in the outer right. And then come on up. Both feet flat on the floor. Now, can you rock from the balls of the feet to the heels? Let me be a better teacher and just indicate. So I just went back. So you're gonna go from the heels, toes, heels, toes, heels and toes. Now, first you're sitting up tall 
and your spine is stacked one potato, two potato, or it's the stacking of cans of tomato Campbell's soup, right? So you're just stacking your spine. But then I want you to lean your chest in, please, towards your thighs, and then press in your belly into the top of the thighs, begin to lift and lower the heels again. So we've added just a little bit of weight distribution that is more towards the tops of the thighs. You're lifting and lowering your heels. Keep going. Now the heels are lifting and then the toes are lifting. Does that make sense? You're making the shape to work into your shins. Now, chin to chest, look down at your feet. Who can rest his or her eyebrows onto her or his kneecaps? Watch. So it's a big forward fold. Drop your head. Breathe. If it's, if it's making you dizzy, you don't have to do that. Don't do it. It's hurting you. You have too much belly meat here. Okay, that can happen. You might not be able to do it. Okay, that's a thing. And then come on out. What's wrong? What do you have to say? You want to unmute yourself? It hurts. My, it's hurting my heart. It's hurting your heart. You have heartburn? No, I'm just joking. Bye. Okay, thank you for that. It's always a good thing when I have anybody else have something to share. No, you good? Okay, we'll get back on that. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're sitting up tall. Sitting up tall. And then hands onto the back of the chair, bending and straightening. Maybe this will open your heart, Joan. Maybe this will give you some new expansion of your chest cavity. So we just did the twist with the right leg on top. Let's go to the second side. Lift the left leg up and across. And just sit up tall there. So this is the beginning of the Garuda. Hold fast your top left leg and round and arch your back. Just feel that. Now, punch your right arm to me, wrap your left elbow around, and then take your arms over to the left, but look to the right. Inhale where you are, exhale, deposit please, your right elbow across the left knee, put your left hand to the back of the chair, then twist, look over your left shoulder and look to the left, good, Aaron. That's it, so it's a big twist. Yeah, you got it. We'll twist your, yourself so that we get some spinal release here. And now reach around with your right hand, grab onto your left foot, take your left leg up and over to the side. Is this the time where the strap would be good? Get your strap. Or maybe just hold the back of the left knee, calf, ankle, or foot. Aaron and I are going a little bit more into the pose by directing our left feet towards the right. Hold onto the leg of the chair with the left hand. Leaning back, good, that is it. That is it. So there's a racing track of, of peppermint. So just the, Woo, going all the way down. Maybe you stay here. Maybe your left hand touches the floor. Doesn't have to. Turn, turn, turn. Good. Seven more breaths. Good, everybody. Four. Three, two, ankle to knee, left ankle, right knee. 
Pull the right hand onto the inner arch of the left foot, left hand onto the inner left knee. Give me that tick-tock, shrugging and twisting and shrugging and twisting. And from that shrug and twist, let's come there into a forward fold, dangling the hands towards the floor. Now that could be too much. If you feel too much tension to make the breath come smoothly, why not just sit up tall and just, just keep this ankle to me? Good. In the tradition of Tejano and Tejano culture, it's time to make tamales for Christmas. And today we're gonna to do some tamales, rolling tamales on the floor uh, using our legs, as well as we'll dunk the churros in this lovely imaginary vat of, of hot chocolate. So let's, let's try it. Our legs are a little bit more open there. Take the feet as wide as you can, as wide as it's comfortable, and then begin to ricochet back and forth, run the heels to the balls of the feet, okay? So you're just, we just did that, that up and down. Now really exaggerate. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult, but exaggerate the flexion of the toes up and just pause there. Now keep the toes flexed up, dig in through the heels. Now, bring your chest forward. Drop your right shoulder, look over the left, bring the left hand to hold the back of the chair. Listen to your teacher now. Look at your right foot and lean to the right. We're opening up the left side of the neck there. Are the left toes and right toes off the floor? That's all I want. Some people want Two front teeth for Christmas, that song. I want all of their toes off the floor. Good. Come back, press the toes down into the floor, and then lift the heels up. Woo! And stay here. Now, what you might feel is a toasting of the buns, right? You're gonna feel the butts, the little, your butt muscles, your glute muscles getting, getting some nice mm, feedback. So the balls of your feet and the balls of your ass are connected. You didn't know that, right? So by squeezing into the toes and working the balls of the feet, you're guaranteed to have better balance. Yes, you are. You're gonna get so strong here, it's just staying. Now, heels are down, toes are up. Stay in that. Excellent job there. And then keep everything the same, keep everything the same. Reach around, hold please your right hand to the back of the chair, and then lean more to the left. Drop your left ear to the floor, and then we're opening up the right side of the neck. If you're right-handed, maybe you take your right hand a little higher, and you start to pump and coil your right shoulder back and around. Good. Come back. Hands onto the knees, heels are down, toes are up. You are not in any, in no uncertain terms are you to put your toes down, okay? Keep your feet active. Keep your head up, Yako. Head up, chest up, good. Let's try this again. Left hand stays, right hand holds the back of the chair. Let's try this again. Take the head to the left, and then come back up. Hand to the right thigh, left hand to the back of the chair. Keep your toes up, flex your feet. Lean to the right. Coil and uncoil your left shoulder. Does, are you guys, do you feel it in your shins yet? It's just so, so simple. It's just the simple little thing. I'm asking you to invigorate your toes. Now, Left hand stays, right hand joins it. Come onto the balls of your feet. Woo! Okay. Now squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze into the balls of the feet. Put 
put your hands onto the chair and then lift off a little bit and lift off a little bit. Put your hands onto the seat of the chair, Joan, not to the back of the chair. Thank you. Good. Up. Good. Now let's say you can't lift yourself off. That's okay. Just a little bit like you're just almost trying to scoot yourself forward. On Casma, are you on the balls of the feet? Are you digging in there? Good, Anne. Put your feet on the sticky mat, y'all. Ten more. Nine. Now, some of you are good here. Who's going to flatten the feet? This is more advanced. Who's going to flatten the feet? Lean forward. Get a big inhale. And then, ah, exhale, take the butt off. Sit back. Inhale, exhale, come forward, take the butt off. So it's a little swing. Yes. Inhale, exhale, come forward, take the butt off a little. Woo! And then go back down. Please don't, if your name starts with an A, please don't just fall down like a sack of potatoes. Guys, watch, watch, watch. When you come down, is it like, oh? Are you just sitting down on your little sweet tushes? No. You're going slow, like your butt is a Fabergé egg that you do not want to break. Let's try that again. Inhale, come up a little. Exhale, go slow. Inhale. Exhale, lift up. Go slowly. Good. Are you starting to feel these beautiful muscles in your quads? We are going again and again. Hmm. We went 79, 60. Whose age shall we do the number of repetitions? Let's see. Who's the oldest here? Who's going to out themselves? That's the number that we're going to do. You're, you're okay. Unmute yourself. If you're old and you want to name your, the number that we're going to do. Nobody's responding. <laughs> okay. Then I'll add them all together and we'll do 500. <laughs> I'll assume that we're going to aggregate all of them. Okay. Then we'll do, how about this? We'll do 90. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do 90. Okay, just sit up tall though. We're not going to do 90 all at once. We're going to do three sets of 30. So pivot. Let's get ready though. Pivot. Dig into the ball of the foot. Direct the right knee down. And then just lean back. Level ones, lean back. Level two, threes, maybe you find your right hand holding your right Achilles tendon or foot. Or you stay right around here. Mm -hmm. Who's going to tone and pull the belly button in? And as you do, you feel a sweet unraveling of the, the cord that is your psoas on that inner groin. Come back, pivot, pivot slowly. Left knee towards the floor. Uh-huh. Squeeze in, lean back a little. So level one's leaning. Level two, three is why don't you test yourself and your skill level by taking your left hand to your left heel and maybe leaning back a little bit more. So you're opening, opening into the whole left side. Great. Now come on back. Let's go from the heels to the toes, just to let, just to let your body know we mean business, right? This is a, just a little warning, a little warning. Now, heel toe the feet in twice. Put your hands onto the back of the chair. You may not lift up at all. And I am so delighted with that. If you just start to bend and straighten your elbows, that's enough of a push up, right? So, so look, I'm not even lifting. You don't even to lift off, but look at the arm strength that you're getting just by bringing your chest a little up towards the ceiling. 
Level one, two is maybe you lift all the way off, all the way off, all the way off. Now, here we go. We're doing 30. 30, little standing, little sitting. Here we go. 30, 29, go slowly. 28, keep your knees safe on Casma. So if this is too much on your knees on Casma, make your feet parallel and you're just gonna work it here, okay? So do your feet need to be parallel? Do that. If you can, turn your toes out, good. 25, good. 24, 23, 22, keep going. 19 more, 18, 17, you're doing so well. 16, do you feel it? 15, good, 14, 13, dunking the churros. So you're dunking your little churros in a vat of hot chocolate. Last five, last four, three, two, one. Come back, right ankle, left knee, figure four. Come forward. Ah, that feels yummy. We have only 60 more to go, okay? But we'll break it up, we'll break it up, we'll break it up. Folding forward, finding please your right hand to hold the arch sole of the right foot, lean into the back of the chair and clip your right leg out to the side and just hold it out. Hold it up and out. Do you need to get your strap? Have it. Level ones, you're here. Level two, threes, you might wanna join me and Aaron taking your right leg out to the side, maybe touching your left hand to the floor. Lift your leg higher, higher. Take it back. Take it to the green chair on the right side of the room. Take your leg more to the right hand. More, 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 more. Good, that's it. I'm not stuck, Zoom didn't freeze, we're still holding. And then release, woo! Roll out your shoulders. Have your hands please holding the back of the chair. Give me that bending and straightening and rocking back and forth through the balls and the feet. Close your eyes and let's have 10 deep breaths. So inhale, lifting the chin, exhale. Inhale, lifting the heart, chin, chest, exhale. You showed up, even though this is a holiday, you showed up and I intend to make this a very magical class so that you have new muscles all along your chest, your neck, your back. We're working core posture muscles. Keep going. Good. Last one. And now please place your left ankle across your right knee. Let's go back to the figure four again. Angle to knee pose. Mm -hmm. Hold fast your left hand to the inner arch of the left foot. Swing the left leg out and to the side. Hold it up. Now, right hand holds the side of the chair, the leg of the chair, or lean back into the chair. Take your right hand to the sticky mat or floor. Take the left leg out to the side. I didn't freeze, guys. We're still in the pose. We're still in the pose. Keep your leg up, Box Sandy. Good, y'all. Yeah. And now, ah, release, release. 
sitting up tall. Rock back and forth. We have our second set of 30. You see by breaking it into little morsels, you have a better chance of doing 90. Here we go. Legs are wide, legs are wide, or parallel if your aunt has it. Okay. Here we go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 26. Are your knees in pain? You have to stop, okay? But, but if there's no, if your knees are not quarreling with you, please let's do 20. Fifteen more. Thirteen. Nothing says happy holidays like supple inner thighs. So I'm told. So I'm told. Keep. Are we doing this? Oh, that's it. Oh, oh, oh you're cooking. Knees to the right, left knee down. Let's twist. And then reach back for the left hand to find either the left heel, left Achilles tendon. Now take the left arm up and all the way towards the right side of the room. Two things are happening. Your left knee is dangling down, go there, and your left arm is up, overhead, to the hallway, and all the way, go, oh, that's it, Aaron. Lean to the right, stretch and stretch. Now let's do something different. Let's do something a little bit different here. So take the left hand to the wall uh, facing you on the right side and take the left arm across and all the way back around. Now from here, wrap your right elbow across the outer left knee. Come back around with the legs wide. Step your left foot into the center of the mat. Swing your right leg over the top. We're back in Garuda. Eagle pose. Yes. Come forward, dig your left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Take your right hand back. Hold the right hand to the back of the chair, left elbow, and then turn. Good. Left hand, right foot, right foot, sky. 10 breaths here. Nine, so this has been all IT centric. Aaron is already touching the floor, look at that. You might go there, you might stay upright. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Sit up tall. Let's just rock from the heels to the balls of the feet. Even if you have a friend who maybe doesn't do chair yoga with you and is a lot less skillful, just working through the feet and working through the hands. So the good news is that you all have been so consistent and so dedicated. The bad news is I have to keep inching it up a little bit every time to make it harder. If you were infrequent and I didn't see you every week, I would know that you couldn't do 90 of those things, but I know you can do it. Yeah, I know. I know. Now, turn the knees to the left, drop the right thigh down, go there. And then find there the right hand leaning back towards the right Achilles tendon. Are you facing your chest towards that left wall? So go there. Now reach back, reach back. There's that opening in the quad. These are the long muscles flanking the top of your thigh bone, okay? Now take your right arm up, inhale, take your right arm up and over to the left 
and stretch into the whole side body. Maybe you turn to look over your left shoulder. Mm. Nice. Now from here, take your right arm, keep it towards the wall in front of you, wrap your left elbow around, and then come and spin yourself back through, stack your right foot into the center of the mat, take your left leg across. So we're back in that Garuda, Eagle Pose. Elbows together, maybe you're doing Aaron shape if your shoulders feel a little bit creaky, Otherwise, maybe you wrap the hands or take the knuckles. Inhale here, exhale, come forward. Right elbow, outer left thigh, go there. And then left hand back of chair, right hand, pinky side of left foot. Take the left leg all the way towards the right for 20 counts. Now, Aaron is already reaching for the floor. You could do that, you could stay upright. Yes, here we are. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Little dominoes, cascade of new muscle memory along the outer left leg. Keep your leg up, John. All right, guys. All right. Um, let's stand. I'm gonna stand uh, with your chairs in front of you and your feet out in that second position. I'm gonna show you head on, face on, then I'm gonna show you from the side. So you're about, about this far away, so either your hands are resting or you're gripping, but do have some purchase of your hands onto the chair and then call forth all of the powers of your feet in the way that we've been working the feet. Here we go. Come onto the balls of the feet. Remember how we talked about how the balls of the feet and the glutes are, take your legs wider apart, Joan. Bend your knees. Okay, hold the chair, good. So for the first 30, I'm sorry, for the first 10, we have only 30 more. You see I'm bad at math. So for the first 10, your heels are off the floor and it's just 10 bounce, nine bounce, eight bounce, seven bounce. Look forward, don't look at me on Sandy. Four more bounce, three, two, one. Now drop the heels, okay? Your heels are down, your feet are flat. Commit to a, everybody except for Aunt Kazan, if your her knees sometimes hurt. Bend your knees, go a lot lower. Hold it there. And we are here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stretch your legs straight. Woo! Heel to the feet back together. Come to place the hands onto the seat of the chair. Walk your feet back. Listen to your teacher. Grip the sides of the chair. Tilt the chair legs that are forward off the floor and then move the hips back. So your hands are pushing into the seat of the chair, please. Lift those chair legs off the floor, Aunt Kazma. Push into the back chair legs with your eye, your hands, and move the hips back. Aaron, you're so tall, you're gonna have to walk really far away from the chair so that your triceps are on the chair even more. More, 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 more. Now, now push the hands into the chair. Look forward, round your back, look down. Inhale, look forward and up. Exhale, round, look at your toes. Inhale, lift the heart, chin, chest, look forward. Exhale, round. So this is a proper down dog. Good. Wow, Gwen. Excellent jump. Now, walk your feet in. 
Lower the legs of the chair to the floor. Come up. Okay. Here we go. We have only 10 more repetitions. Take your legs wide. We're almost done. Guys, you will have done 90 of these. 90. Okay, here we go. So on the last 10, please keep your left heel down. Lift your right heel up. So the right heel's off the floor. Put your right hand on the inner right thigh, left hand onto the chair, and just as five, pulse, four, pulse, three, pulse, two, pulse, one. Right heel flat, right leg down. Left heel up, right hand chair, left hand inner knee. Pulse, five, pulse. Left heel up, left hand left thigh, pulse, four, pulse, three, pulse, two, pulse, one. Woo! Stretch your legs straight. Hold onto the chair. Bring your right leg up and behind you. And then bend your elbows, bring your head towards the chair. Lift your right leg up, 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 up. Good, not Kasma. Good. Come on, touch the, put your leg on the couch, Aaron. Put, take your leg up higher, higher. Leg on the couch. Leg is higher. And then come back. Right leg down, left leg up. Balancing. Fold in, lift the leg up. Left leg up, bring your head towards the bar. Come on, lift your legs. Lift your legs up, 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 up. Hold it up. And then down. Ah. Now, feet flat. Slant your chair so that the heels, um, the legs of the back side of the chair are down. And then just put your, your foot up on there. Now, foot is up. It doesn't matter which, because what we're going to do both, start to tilt that chair towards you. And then bring your chest into the top of your thigh. Does anybody feel something yummy? Yes, you do. Now, the, the, the caveat here is that your heels um, are down, your toes are down, and you're stretching. Make sure that your chairs, please, are not in danger of skittering or sliding or betraying you. Come forward more. On Cosmo, reach forward with your hands, pushing your hands into the seat of the chair. So at first you held here, but now walk your hands onto the base of the chair. Good, Anne. Excellent. 10 more breaths. Big forward fold stretch. So this pose is called pyramid pose, right? This is called pyramid pose when we put the foot flat on the floor. It's a balance, it's a toning of the standing leg, it's a stretching of the leg that's on the chair. We're still in the pose, we're still in the pose. Mm. And then walk up to hold the leg, uh, the back room of the chair, lower down. Leg that was on the chair, put it onto the floor. Leg that was on the floor, Put it onto the chair, go there, and then start to tilt the chair towards you, okay? Good, that's it, that's it. Walk your hands along, good, I'll cast my excellent, y'all. Wow, and and can you keep your foot flat? Can you push your toes? I shouldn't see the bottom of your foot. There, that's better, keep your foot flat. Guys, I want the foot to be flat here because I feel we'll do it again so that you'll have a comparison. Okay, but for now, your toes are flush down. About 30 more breaths here. The fun thing about this is that because your chair is on a tilt, you can decide the level of stretch that you require, right? So if it's, if you tilt a little more forward, a little lower to the floor, both have value. Good. 
Good. And then slowly, slowly lower the chair. Okay. Have your hands onto the chair. Your feet are back a little. Move your butt back and then bring your pubic bone towards the chair and then move the butt back, bend the knees. Bring the pubic bone towards the chair, come onto the balls of the feet. Bend the knees. Bring your pubic bone in, look up. Good, take your hands a little bit wider, yeah, because your shoulders are quite broad and you can take your hands. Good, that's it on Sandy. Good, Gwen. Now everybody, everybody, move your butt back. Come upon the heels of the feet so that the toes are up and then look down at the floor. Mm. Heels are down, toes are up, big flex. Now plant the feet, walk forward. Right foot down, left foot up. Hands onto the seat of the chair, right foot down, left foot up. Okay, lift the left leg up, up. Now, there's a way to make a tamale. So you have your, your husk and then you put in the, um, the cornmeal and then you, you add whatever filling. So keep your left leg up. And imagine that I've asked you to smooth back and forth, side to side. So let's smooth your left leg in the air, side to side. So you're just smoothing out. We're making tamale with the left leg higher. Swing a little to the side. Your left leg could be much higher, Joe. Your left leg could be a lot higher, Gwen. 10 more tamales, swing, swing, eight, seven, six smallies, five, four, swing, three, two, one. Step your left foot onto the chair. Here we go. Remember how last time I wanted your foot to stay pointed down and flexed? This time I want your toes to come up and your heel to go down. And then walk your hands in and then tilt the chair towards you. Now notice what the flexed foot does, right? It's just it's a different emphasis on a different syllable of the stretch. Uh, bring your chest a little more forward. Are the toes flexing towards the ceiling? Now for many of you, this is hurting your heel, okay? So you can either come out, not do so much because it is a lot on the heel and some of you have very tender heels. We're here for 20 more seconds. There, yeah, keep your leg up. Do you need to come out, Jim? Oh, can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, I just have a request. For the last five minutes, would you take us down into a deep restorative directed? Yes, of course. Yes. Thank you. Okay. And then release. Okay. Left leg is down. Here we go. Right leg is up back. Okay. Now, 30 tamales. Hands can be on the back of the chair or the seat of the chair, but I do want the side swipe. So the right leg is up. Smooth out that. Smooth, smooth. Like you go higher, Aaron. Like you go higher, yeah. Smooth, smooth. Is your leg even clearing the couch when I don't even see it above the couch? Your left leg, your right leg needs to be above the couch. 25, smooth, 24. So it's a smooth, smooth. Legs are higher. 19, 18. Come on, push into the floor with your left leg, everybody. Lift your right leg higher, Anne. Seven, six, tamale smooth, five. Why are your legs dripping down? Please don't. Come on, guys. This is the last little one. Please. Why are you so? Come on, guys. I'm begging you. And then 
Step your right foot forward onto the chair. Place the heel of the chair onto the floor, onto the um, chair. Come forward. Tilt the chair off of its edge so that the right thigh is more towards your chest. Forward fold here with the toes flexed. Better and so good on Catherine. Bring your head down a little. Fifteen more seconds in this flexed foothold. Come on, straighten your knees, please. Some of your knees are bent on the right side. I don't know why. Please try and straighten, even if it means you have to stay up here, okay? So everybody's come out. Let's get back in the pose. So just put your right heel up. Start there. Keep your right leg a lot straighter than I see many of you doing. Then come forward. Then tilt the chair. Then bring your thigh towards you and then press into the floor with your left leg. Is that making more sense? Your right toes need to flex. If your daughter's name is Michelle, flex your foot. That's a point. That's a flex. Good. And then mercifully release. Oh, come on out. Rest on your backs with your legs up on the chair. Let's get right away into that really good Shavasana that Joan asked for. Woo wee, guys. You worked your little tamales. You worked your churros. You worked into your backs of your legs. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to the way you're progressing. And it's, it's these little moments of progress that create cumulative confidence. So you don't just look up suddenly and get strong without intentional deposits into the bank account of your health, the mobility of your bodies. No, all of this is because I sent out a request. I said, guys, I'm having class today. Who wants to come? And wow, everybody showed up. It's just, it's just, it's a lovely thing to see. I want you to relax on your back, swallow to soften your throat, move your head from side to side. Lift and lower your eyebrows so that you can find out were you furrowing your eyebrows? Were you making a quizzical expression. Maybe you take your hands and you massage with the heels of your hands, you massage your eyebrows, massage the sides of the skull. You can even vigorously rub the hands together and cup the eyes so that the eyes are shrouded. And in the darkness there, open and close the eyes and then Commit to eyes that are closed. Now relax more and more. I want you to imagine very clearly that you are relaxing next to a beautiful mountain. You could imagine the mountains in the sound of music, the Alps, a beautiful snow-capped mountain with an emerald green pasture. You could see the mountains 
that are warm and richly hued like Santa Fe. No matter, it's your mountain, it's your visualization. Maybe you hear the hush of a waterfall. Maybe you're in a snow-capped mountain so that everything is so quiet and so subdued, muffled even. Now, can you come into the place of relaxation where your shoulders relax into their normal position and away from the ears? Your back is supported by the floor or even, even in the pasture beneath the mountain. Wherever you are, let yourself create a peaceful, deep, exhaling breath. Inhaling, and on the exhale, deep letting go breath. Inhaling. And then, ah, sigh, let go of all the tension. Again, inhaling. And ah, deep letting go breath. As you rest here next to your mountain, notice the clouds that drift across the sky. It's a crystal blue sky with fluffy, white clouds. You notice the clouds. And then you notice your thoughts. Your thoughts will come and go because that is the nature of your mind. So let the clouds drift by and let your thoughts wander in and out of your consciousness. Some sound has distracted you. Take another deep inhale and on the exhale, deep letting go breath. Come back to your body resting still on the floor. The clouds are going by and your thoughts are going by and then you understand that the thoughts will come and go. That is the nature of the mind. The mind wanders like lonely clouds across the horizon. And the mind wanders and the thoughts are evidence that the mind is never stopped. No matter. Your job is just to breathe and to rest and to observe the thoughts in the same way you observe the clouds as they drift by in the sky next to your in mountain shape. Noticing the clouds is drifting by in the sky. Perhaps you notice the sound in your imaginary waterfall of the water collapsing across the snow. There might be a cool mountain air that feels refreshing. The birds might be chirping or splashing about in the puddle next to your waterfall. There's an awareness, it might even taste like fresh, clear mountain spring water across your tongue. There might be the whisper of pines or the soft hush of aspen leaves. The trees, they sway in the distance and you can hear the sounds that draw you deeper and deeper into focused state of relaxation. 
golden rays of sun slant sideways through the clouds. The reflection of the light dapples against these and makes wonderful checkers in the snow, on the grass, or on the sand, whatever soil, earth, or grass that you have imagined. These golden rays of light reflect off of the water and you feel a pleasant warmth splaying through your Come and relax again your entire spine from the top of the head to the tip of the tailbone. And then making your shoulders quite relaxed there. And it's, it's the relaxation of your shoulders that gives your back a chance to melt down. The sunlight stands for everything that is good and positive in life. Love, peace, serenity, radiant health, family, prosperity, tranquility, pure relaxation. Allow this light to flow through every muscle fiber, every cell, every tissue. As the light flows from the head to the toes, simply allowing each muscle group to relax from the forehead, the lines across the forehead, they soften. Automatically, the light flows behind the eyes, unthreading the muscles behind the eyelashes. The light, it continues to glide down through the temples over the back of the neck. At the same time, down the back of the head and the shoulders. You are getting foggy, foggier, relaxing more and more. You are drifting down and down, letting go. Your conscious mind is very good at being a sentinel and observing. Let your conscious mind have a break and relax into a foggy, sleepy, heavy sleep. And in this sleep, you feel the cloud mist draping you. Whatever happens is completely natural. You'll still hear the relaxing sound of my voice, which is soon to be comfortable and fade into the background. My words will blend into another and flow into your mind naturally. You don't need to listen for the words to have their healing effect. Let the mind unwind. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. The relaxation is flowing from the back, through the legs, from the knees to the ankles, even into the soles of the feet and to the webbing of the toes. Allow the white light to continue to flow around your wrist, your elbows, and out through the fingers. Notice a tingling sensation, which further indicates that your body is relaxing and the functions of your body are slowing down, drifting into the beautiful mountain and letting go more and more. Snow, breathe, quiet, relax. The white light is flowing around. The light is flowing through your body and pushing out all stress, concerns, and worries. 
all tightness, tension that was locked in the body are useless to us now. Inhaling, let. Exhaling, go. Inhaling, let. Exhaling, go. With every beat of your heart, you are naturally becoming more and more relaxed, allowing yourself to go deeper, slowly, deeper, relax. Counting from five. Deepen your relaxation. Four, drifting down like a snowflake or a leaf gliding down. Three, you're heavier, heavier. Two. And when you hear me snap my fingers, at one, you will go to the deepest relaxation. And now sleep. As you are resting here, we will go through some affirmations to begin to reprogram your subconscious so that it's more of an ally to you in the coming year. I take good care of my body. I take even better care of my diet and I watch what I eat. I drink plenty of water. I am now aware of the words that I choose so that my language is supported. I am even more considerate of my unspoken words. I understand that my thoughts create my mind. I observe my thoughts and I choose them wisely. To attract abundance, I praise others for the good they do. I compliment others honestly and sincerely. I thank others, I thank others lavishly. I enjoy listening to others and finding myself engaged. To attract abundance, I clean out all excess clutter in my life that could be in relationships, habits, I phase out all trash. I give away all my neglected things so that others may use them. I make room for the many blessings 
by letting go of things that no longer serve me. To attract abundance in my life, I allow myself to laugh often and loudly. My sense of humor expands and I have a habit of laughter. With happiness and laughter, I attract energy that is joyful, playful. It improves my appearance and the way I feel. To attract abundance, I make friends and associate with positive, creative, active people. For I realize that I'm always influenced by the people around me. So it is vital that I choose wisely with whom I work and play, love and grow. To attract abundance, I carefully make a list of my goals, my ideals, my plans. I especially plan and write out in detail all that I wish to accomplish. My goals for yoga, my goals for my family, my goals for my community, my goals for myself. I make realistic short-term goals and I chunk them down. I make reasonable long-term goals that are smart, measurable, actionable, realistic, and timely. Each and every day, I am becoming healthier, happier, and freer. Make the next breath deeper and deeper. Begin to point and flex the toes. At five, you'll remember everything you've experienced. At four, you feel very inspired by having gone into this mountainscape and you know that you can return here anytime that you need a shift of venues and a change of your consciousness. At three, become in touch with the room around you, hearing the ambient noises, your back on the floor, blinking the eyes to open. For two, the mind and the body are returning to normal. When you imagine and see the letter one, your mind's eye in the next minute You'll become wide awake, refreshed, relaxed, and feeling very, very good. Wonderful job today. Happy holidays, everybody.